Welcome back. Well, we're a little bit farther on. We've uh, put the forks back on, our triple clamps, got the headlight bucket on, uh, like I said, got the wiring through here. And uh, next thing we're going to start tackling is getting them down to the, all the little details here. And one of the big things that'll be a problem for most people is, is the seat here. And uh, this one, you know, it's uh, stitching's coming apart here. The foam is rock hard and deteriorated and actually it's coming out the bottom and making a mess and uh, so we're going to have to take the foam cover off, take the foam off, replace the foam uh, and I'm going to show you, show you that a little bit later on. Also another thing we've got to do, here's the, uh, here's the cage for the air filter. Uh, they don't sell a custom made air filter for these anymore. Uh, so I, I bought some uh, air filter media just like uh, what the pre-mades would be made out of. It's a, it's a sheet and I'll have to measure and cut and then uh, glue the end and make my own air filter that goes into the air box. So we got a lot of extra things to do. We got fasteners to go get, uh, ones that I could shine up and were reusable. I reused, but I got uh, a bunch of different fasteners in a cup here that I need to go to the hardware store and get. So we got a lot of detail work, so let's get going. Cleaned up our uh, seat pan here. We painted her all up with some uh, rust block and primer. Uh, looks pretty good. Had to straighten out, straighten it out just a little bit, and uh, good coat of primer on here. So we're ready to uh, put some foam on here and rebuild the foam. Now, on uh, vintage bikes like this, uh, they're you know, new seats, new seat phones, seat pans, and things are not re readily available either in the aftermarket or even uh, like on eBay is new old stock. I mean, uh, I can't remember the last time I've seen a new old stock one come up on eBay for this bike or any other bike this old. Uh, so there's some companies out there that make uh, reproduction seat covers, uh, but it's the foam. Uh, that's assuming that your foam's any good and any bike that's sit, in, sit out in the weather or it, the foam's going to be no good, or even like this one, which, you, as you saw in the first episode, we pulled it out of a barn, literally, and the foam was still rock hard. I mean, the stuff's 40 years old. It can't uh, be expected to stay soft forever. So, next thing is we got to go and get some foam pieces and uh, build our own seat foam. And I'm going to show you how to do that. What I have here is I got two pieces of foam, main, uh, mainly to get the thickness that I need, but I have... Uh, some closed cell dense uh, foam used for uh, automotive grade. You can buy it in, in squares like this. You can, you can buy it in different quantities. Uh, can so sometimes be found at craft stores and hobby stores. Um, otherwise, uh, upholstery shops will probably be able to sell it to you. Sometimes you may be able to get their remnants uh, because honestly, a motorcycle seat, you don't need all that much. So. The other thing you're going to need is some uh, spray adhesive that works on foam. Uh, uh, spray contact adhesive, so that's what we're going to do now. We're going to put down our contact adhesive and start sticking these two pieces on here. I'll also want to note a contact adhesive means you have to spray both sides of whatever you're trying to bond. Let them essentially dry and then the bond happens when you the two pieces contact, hence the name. Okay, after a little bit of dry time we're ready to put these two together. Well, 
we have it all stuck, we'll let this cure and we'll do the same thing to the thicker piece of foam. Put a layer of glue on this side and a layer of glue on the other piece of foam and then we'll stick it down on top. Well, there you go. Really, just uh, about 10 minutes worth of work. We have our foam all glued up, ready to go. But I can hear you out there. You're, you're going to say, well, now what do you do? I mean, I can't cover this. Well, I'm going to show you a, a neat and trick way to uh, cut and shape this foam, because that's what we're going to have to do, is uh, trim it and then shape it into uh, the factory shape before we can put a cover on this. Okay, we let our pieces of foam and adhesive dry to our seat pan, and now it's time to cut off the excess. Now there's a few different ways you can do this, of course. Uh, one is with, uh, grab yourself a real sharp knife, a butter, uh, bread knife works real good. Uh, some guys use can use an electric knife, uh, works kind of good. But any sharp knife uh, to cut. Now what you're going to do is you're going to follow the edge and perimeter of the seat and try to make a perpendicular cut uh, so you have a, uh, a square piece when you're done the shape of the seat pan. Well as you can see we have our uh, seat all uh, rough cut out. I left quite a bit of excess because we need to shape this down to the original uh, shape. Now, this is pretty brittle because this is the original seat foam. You saw me take that off earlier. It's pretty hard, rotten, and falling apart. So what I want to do is I want to have it here for a guide, but I also want to take a few measurements and I can then put some uh, reference lines on here so I know how much to take off. And how I'm going to do that, you can use the knife to take off the big chunks, but what I've found works great. Angle grinder with about an 80 or or a 60 grit uh, flap disc or a fiber disc will work. Any type of sanding sanding disc, and you can use this with a good hand to uh, shape the foam. Now that goes without saying. You want to use some safety glasses, some eye protection, and also at least a cheap. Uh, dust mass because you're going to have all this foam. It's going to make a lot of mess. So you want to do it somewhere where it's easy to clean up because you're going to create a lot <laughs> of dust when you do this. Well, as you can see, it's a messy job here, and uh, I got the shape roughed out here using my uh, grinder and sanding wheel. Next thing is just to uh, put the cover on, and when we do that, we might want to, you know, adjust the shape a little bit because this is just an approximation. I still left quite a bit of material on here just in case I uh, should need to. Um, shave a little bit more off but uh, that's it that's basically how you make uh, you know make a seat foam for a pan and uh, you know takes a little bit of time it's a little bit messy but it's definitely a, uh, a do-it-yourself job plus it's fairly forgiving because let's say I screwed up and I took too much off I could always shave it down put another piece of foam on to build it up to the height and do it again well until next time
I'm the Junk Man, and thanks for watching. All right, it's a messy job as you can as you can see, but uh, I got the uh, rough shape here, and. Uh, Take, take two, get my mask back on.